This is the Holy Bible. It is the best-selling book of all times, but also the least read. And a lot of people have problems with the Bible because it's too hard to understand, and it's full of mysteries. Well, let me tell you something. Jesus told his disciples that it was given to them to know the mysteries of the kingdom. And so there's no reason why we cannot understand what the Lord wants us to know about him and heaven. Hello, my name is Jerry Lamping and I'm the senior pastor and founder of Fortress of Joy Church in Helena, Montana. And today I want to begin a series of snippets to open your hearts to the mysteries of the Bible and help you to understand and if you will stay with me in these programs, you're going to see that there is a fluidity of studying the Bible, and it's very easy to understand. So today I'm going to read you a scripture out of the book of Philippians in the Amplified Translation. And this is the most important scripture in the whole Bible because it's going to help you to understand and put a foundation under you concerning Jesus. And it says this, Jesus, although being essentially one with God and in the form of God, possessing the fullness of the attributes which make God God, did not think this equality with God was a thing to be eagerly grasped or retained, but he stripped himself of all privileges and rightful dignity so as to assume the disguise of a servant or a slave in that he became like men and was born a human being. Jesus did not begin his existence in Bethlehem. He always existed with the Father. He was in heaven with the Father. There was nothing created of the worlds that he was not in on and helping to create. But in, in, before he became Jesus in Bethlehem, he was called the Word. Now, what we need to understand is Jesus was a man. He was born a baby. He, he knew everything a baby knew, which is nothing. And the Bible says he grew in wisdom and in favor with God. He had to learn everything he knew about the Bible, and he learned from the Old Testament because the Old Testament in the Bible pointed to him being the Messiah. He was a man. He, he, he got hungry. He was tired. He felt pain. And he had to go to the cross as a man and die for our sins on the cross. And so what we need to understand is when Jesus was on this earth, he was a man just like you and I. And the reason he was able to do all those miracles because he said, the Father in me does the works. So if you understand that, it's, it helps you to understand the whole flow of the new scriptures, understanding that Jesus was a man. So in these snippets to come, we're going to be getting to share these mysteries and unravel them for you to understand that the Bible is very easy to follow. And so I'm going to pray for you tonight as we go into the Word that you, when you come back, I'm praying that you be filled with the wisdom of God because that's how Paul prayed for the church at Corinth, that you be filled with the wisdom and that you have understanding concerning the mysteries of God and in so doing, you'll draw closer to the Lord Jesus. Thank you and God bless you and I'm praying for you.